Good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. We hope you get to enjoy and cherish the beautiful gift called life today. God's blessings are entangled with each one of your smiles and love. We hope you keep smiling throughout the day. May the sweet sunshine touch your soul with warmth. Common S to ensure that as many people as possible see this video. Kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to our channel. May this message touch your heart and enrich your spiritual journey. In today's video, we will listen to the vision of the Church Messages of Mary. For the end times of May 26, 2023, the Go recounted a vivid vision. I saw Mother. She was dressed all in white, on her head. She had a delicate grey veil, which also covered her shoulders and reached up to feet. That barefoot rested on a globe that was covered with thick black smoke. My mother had the queen's crown on her head. Her hands folded in prayer and in them. She held a long chaplet of the holy rosary made as if from ice drops on her chest. Mother had a heart of flesh crowned with thorns. With fervor, he continued. Praised be Jesus Christ, my dear children. I come to you as the queen of heaven and earth, children. Once again, I ask you to pray to pray for my beloved church, for my beloved son, priests. In this vision, Mother Mary adorned in purity and grace appeared as a beacon of divine intercession. Her attire, symbolic of spiritual purity, contrasted starkly with the enveloping darkness signifying the world's turmoil. Clad in regality, bearing the wounds of her son's suffering, she beckoned all to prayer urging them to lift their hearts for the church and its servants. Her plea resonated deeply, emphasizing the urgent need for unwavering devotion and supplication on behalf of the church and its priests in these challenging times. In the midst of my prayers, a profound vision unfolded before me. It was as though time itself paused. As Mother Mary graced my presence in resplendent attire, she stood before me, robed entirely in white, with a radiant cloak enveloping her, matching the purity of her attire, her mantle cascaded gracefully over her head, framing her serene countenance adorned with a crown. Bearing twelve shimmering stars, she emanated a celestial splendor that was both awe-inspiring and comforting. With her hands clasped in reverent prayer, she held a long luminous rosary that seemed to shimmer like pure light, extending nearly to the ground. Beneath her feet lay the earth shrouded in a somber grey cloud akin to dense smoke, an unsettling sight that evoked a deep sense of concern, yet, as if to offer solace and reassurance, she gently drew the edge of her mantle over a portion of the globe, though her countenance bore a serene and loving smile. Her eyes betrayed an underlying sorrow reflective of the struggles and trials that beset the world. In her divine presence, an overwhelming sense of grace and compassion enveloped me. In her message, she beseeched children. A great danger threatens my beloved church, pray, children, so that the true magisterium of the church is not lost, pray, children, so that my son may be loved and glorified, pray. Children, pray. In that sacred moment, I prayed fervently with Mother Mary, entrusting to her the entirety of the Holy Church and all those who sought solace through prayer. Her words echoed through my being, a poignant reminder of the urgency and power of prayer in these troubled times. As the vision gradually faded, I was left with a deep sense of gratitude, blessed by the divine encounter and the wisdom imparted by Our Lady's presence. Praised be Jesus Christ, dear children. Thank you for responding to this call of mine. Thank you, children, my children. Today I pray with you and for you. Today, I unite myself with your prayer. My children, also today, I ask you to pray for my beloved church. My beloved church will have to go through great tribulation. Many of my children have distanced themselves from him but you remain strong in faith and do not be afraid. The forces of evil will not prevail. My children, pray. Bend your knees and pray. Let your life be prayer, my children. 
In moments of trial and tribulation, seek refuge in the face of Jesus, present, living, and true in the most holy sacrament of the altar. There, my Son is alive and real. Mom let out a long sigh and remained silent for a moment. Do not distance yourself from him. I am begging you, children, listen to me. As I knelt in prayer, Mother Mary entrusted me with a sacred task to offer prayers for the church. As I earnestly prayed, a vision unfurled before my eyes, revealing the grand cathedral of St. Peter in Rome, shrouded beneath a dense veil of ominous black smoke. It was a distressing sight symbolizing the spiritual struggle and tribulations that afflicted the church. In response to this alarming vision, Mother Mary, in her infinite compassion, extended her vast cloak, enfolding and shielding the cathedral within its protective embrace. Her act of covering the cathedral with her mantle was a profound and symbolic gesture, signifying her maternal care and protection over the church seeking to shield it from the dark forces that threatened its sanctity. With tender words, Our Lady addressed us, her beloved children, revealing her enduring presence among us a beacon of divine mercy and love. She expressed her unwavering devotion to the gathering of God's people, a testament to her boundless love for humanity, moved by her divine presence. I beseeched Mother Mary to intercede for all those who had entrusted their prayers and supplications to my care, with heartfelt devotion. I laid before her the concerns and particulars of the faithful, seeking her compassionate intercession. As our sacred encounter drew to a close, Mother Mary bestowed upon us her maternal blessing, invoking the divine authority of the Holy Trinity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. It was a benediction infused with divine grace, a reminder of the eternal love and protection that radiated from Our Lady's compassionate heart to all who sought her intercession. O oh, Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Grace, hear our prayers, your love and compassion embrace all. Guide us through life's trials, wrap us in your maternal care, be our beacon of hope, leading us to your Son, Jesus Christ, Intercede for us, that we may find solace in your tender embrace. Shower us with your blessings, O Holy Mother, as we seek your intercession and protection, Our Lady. Hear our heart's desires, and in your kindness, grant us peace and strength. Amen. Then, Lord, I ask thee to send thy holy angels to guard and protect all of us. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time stay blessed and keep praying.